Hey, happy Friday. My dumb ass is back at Costco. Nah, actually I stopped by here to get a pizza and that's it. And I'm, I'm getting out of here because this place is stupid and I want to get home. I want to go home. But I was, I was kind of in the area. I went to see the Elvis, the new Elvis movie. Oh my God. Oh my God, it was so good. It was so, it was so damn good. I grew up listening to Elvis because my mother was a was an Elvis fan, and she I, I listened to a whole lot of Elvis growing up. And uh, man, damn, that movie was good. It was really, really good. I went in there not knowing what to expect. I mean, I had seen one trailer for it, um, and the trailer looked good. But sometimes, you know, you, the trailer looks good, but all the good stuff is in the trailer. You know, no, it's damn good. It is damn good. Yes. Wow. I was all I was all choked up, man. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> but uh I don't know, a really good movie just makes me feel everything for some reason. Like I don't know. Anybody that can tell a good story will choke me up. They told a good story. They really it was it was it was damn good. I literally just left there and came up here to get a pizza and now I can't get out of here. Because everybody in the fucking world is at Costco. That's why I don't come here on the weekends. You're stupid to come here Friday, Saturday. Are they open on Sundays? Oh, shit, I don't know. I believe they are. Are you being nice to me? Thank you. I think she was actually looking at her phone. I'm going to give her the benefit of that. I think she let me out. Thank you. Nobody does that here. Literally no one as I don't let anybody out. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, man. You're not supposed to go non-stop. It's a four-way stop. You animals. God almighty. They're just flowing through. Nobody's stopping. It's every man for himself out here today. Anyway, I got to go by. Now, now my dumbass has to go to Walmart. My, my older son wanted a bag of those Mamba. I got my younger son a bag of Mamba little chewy things, you know, when he got his braces off. And my older son wanted some and he went by there earlier today and he said I couldn't find them he has this thing they both have it I think it's genetic because their father is the same way you could say hey open the refrigerator look at the second shelf from the bottom in the dead middle there will be an enormous bottle of ketchup can you please give me the ketchup they will he open the refrigerator look right at it I don't see it where 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 is it it's right there oh they but both of my kids, same thing. I told him exactly where the Mamba was. I told him exactly where to go. Mom, I, they didn't have any. They damn well do. They damn well do. I love my children, but they can't see shit right in front of them. Now something 200 yards away, if there's a paper clip sitting on top of a phone pole in the next county, somehow they see that. But the big ass 64 ounce ketchup bottle in the door of the refrigerator, they can't see that for shit. They can't see it. I don't know. It's genetic. They got it from their daddy because he's the same damn way. I'm not meaning to impugn anyone's honor here, but that man can't see shit. Allegedly. Oh, allegedly. That reminds me. I've had a lot of requests for a neighborhood gossip video, and I actually have a topic I can speak to, and I got a text about it hypothetically right when I left the theater. I, I'm not going to go into detail now. You have to watch the neighborhood gossip to hear about it. And there is hypothetically a story that goes with it. But I'm not gonna talk about it here. I'm really glad I went to see this movie because I was not in a good mood when I got to the movie theater. I was, I was in a foul mood. Okay, so you know I'm still dealing with the dental claims that my old insurance wouldn't pay. I've now spent over 30 hours on the phone with the insurance company. Well, they told me well, you have to mail us the claims. So I overnighted them. I sent them FedEx. Signature required the whole nine yards. Cost me like $32 to mail this shit to them. I mailed it to them a week ago yesterday. They got it a week ago today. Okay? So I called them up today. First time I called, the lady put me on hold for about 20 minutes, and then I got accidentally cut off. She bitch hung up on me. So I didn't find, it, find out anything from her. So, I had to call them again and go through the whole thing again of trying to explain why I was calling and what I was checking on. 
Okay, and the guy, so I told him, I said, I'm calling to check on the status of the claims that I overnighted to you guys that you got a week ago today. And he goes, well, I don't see any record of having received anything from you. I said, I sent it FedEx, and I can tell you who signed for it. I can tell you when they signed. I can tell you the very minute they signed for this package. So I told him, he said, well, that's, I understand that, ma'am, but I have no record. We have no record of receiving anything from you. We don't have any claims from you. That's the long story short. It took me another half hour of talking to him to get to that point. He said, yeah, I don't have any claims from you. I have no record of receiving anything. I said, but look, this person signed on this day at this time for that package. He goes, I hear what you're saying, ma'am, but we don't have anything for you. We didn't receive anything from you. Oh, okay, okay. We're talking about $1,500 worth of claims they were supposed to pay. I've paid my part, that's their part. They've been faxed, they've been sent electronically, they have now been overnighted, and they still don't have them. We are going on, what now, four months of trying to get these claims sent in, and I said, I'm about at the point now, Mr. Man, where I'm going to get a round trip ticket to El Paso where this place is, and I'm going to take a copy, hold them in my hot little hand, and get on a plane, and fly there, and hand them to you. Would that work? And he said, ma'am, I don't really appreciate the tone. I'm like, I don't give a shit what you don't appreciate. Don't care. I don't think you fully grasp the amount of shit I have been through trying to get you to take these damn claims and do something with them. Because you're not saying you're denying them. You're saying you never got them. Is that correct? He said, yes, ma'am. We haven't denied. There's nothing to deny because we haven't received any claims. Okay. 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 Cool. So, I had to call the dentist office again and tell them what I found out. I had to leave them a voicemail. And I told them what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pay because the dentist... Some of these claims are a year and a half old and they have not been paid. I'm gonna go ahead and pay the dentist office what's owed. I'm going to make multiple copies of these claims and I'm going to mail them on different days by different services. I'm gonna send one FedEx, one UPS, and one USPS express mail. And I'm going to keep calling them every day. This is the first day I've been able to get a human being on the phone all week. I'm gonna call them every damn day. I have already tried, I have reported this issue to the, the Labor Commission here in North Carolina. They didn't do anything about it. They, they, they took down the report. We'll make note of it, ma'am, but uh, chances are we're not going to be able to really help you with this. That's all I got. Sorry. Yeah, we hear you. Yeah, that sounds frustrating, um, but we can't help you. So, you're on your own. Sorry, if they were in North Carolina, we might be able to help you. I said, well, do I need to contact somebody in El Paso? Well, maybe, but that might not be where they're actually located. You need to find out where they're actually located. Well, nobody fucking knows where they're located. The, the place where they process claims is in El Paso, Texas, but I don't know that that's where the official... I don't know. I don't know what state they're actually in. I know they're not here. So anyway, I was livid. I had just gotten off the phone with them... And I went straight to the movie after that because I was on the phone for so long. I had to leave like as soon as I got off the phone to get to the movie on time. And I'm sitting there just all, you know, I'm just like boiling. Like, okay, it's like it's become like a personal vendetta now. By God, somebody is going to acknowledge these claims and somebody is going to do something. My God, some of these claims are over a year and a half old. And they have been sent over and over and over and over. And these people are just saying, yeah, we've never received anything from you. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and the guy also told me today, so we were told before to fax the claims and I was given the fax number to send them to. The guy I talked to today said, yeah, you should have never done that. We don't even take claims by fax. So I don't know who told you that, but you definitely shouldn't have done that. We don't take claims by fax. He said, you have to send them electronically or mail them. That's the first time I heard that. And I told him, he said, well, I don't know who told you to fax them. I said, three different people told me to fax them. 
and they all three gave me the same fax number. He said, well, that's incorrect. We don't take any claims by fax. Every person I talk to tells me something different. So anyway, but I was in a bad mood, but then I went to the movies and now I am, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to, I'm going to address it. I'll get back at it again on Tuesday because Monday's a holiday. I can't do anything Monday, but I'll get back at it on Tuesday. I'm going to make some copies. I'm going to send them again and I'm going to mail them on different days from different carriers. Boom. They can't keep denying they got this shit. They can't keep denying it. And I'm just going to keep calling and calling and calling and calling. He told, the guy told me today, he said, ma'am, there's no need to call anymore. I said, oh, I don't mind. <laughs> this is my new hobby now. This is what I do for fun. Some people knit, some people jog. I just talk to you guys. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere until you address this damn issue. All right. I don't mean to bitch. I just, that just irritates me. Like, I thought sending it FedEx was a foolproof plan. Like, I got a name, I got who signed for it, I got when they signed for it, and they're still saying they didn't get anything from me. What'd you get, an empty envelope? Did you sign for an empty envelope? I doubt it. So anyway, but yeah, the Elvis movie was awesome. I really enjoyed it. The guy that plays Elvis did a hell of a job. Tom Hanks is in it. He did a really good job. The whole thing was just great. So, yeah, I mean, even if you're not an Elvis fan, you might like it. But I grew up listening to it because my mom was a big Elvis fan. So, yes, and she used to tell me she, she graduated high school in 1957. And she was she's, a, she's four years younger than Elvis was. And she said she remembered hearing her parents talk about how, how dirty and inappropriate Elvis's moves were. And how they just, they won't, no, they won't allow that on their TV. No, they just, it was, ah. Oh. All the adults were just in an uproar over Elvis and his hips and whoo, why does he dance like that? You know? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, she was always a big Elvis fan. So anyway, I'm gonna go in here and see if I can find that Mamba that I know exactly where it is. It'll be right where I told my son it was when he swears up and down it wasn't there, but it was. Anyway, I gotta find my money. I got my money. And then I'll take pizza home and, and my kids will eat pizza. And I'm, I'm not really hungry because I had a big thing of popcorn at the movie, so I probably won't eat much. But anyway, thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry this is short, but I got kids waiting for pizza and mamba. So, yeah, the, the dinner of champions tonight at my house. It's all about the health at, at my house. Yes, we eat healthy all the time. No, we don't. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Friday, and I will see you again soon.